This educational video is provided to you by the European Respiratory Society. It demonstrates how to perform cardiopulmonary exercise testing, an exercise test that provides information about the level of exercise intolerance and permits the evaluation of functional and prognostic parameters in cardiovascular and pulmonary diseases. The main purposes of clinical exercise testing are to evaluate the level and the causes of exercise intolerance, functional and prognostic evaluation of chronic disease states such as COPD, interstitial lung diseases, pulmonary vascular disorders, chronic heart failure, to evaluate the effects of therapeutic interventions such as pulmonary rehabilitation, differential diagnosis of exertional dyspnea, At the time of scheduling, the subject should be instructed to adhere to his usual medical regimen. Avoid eating for at least two hours prior to the test. Avoid smoking and caffeine. And dress appropriately for the exercise test. The preliminary clinical evaluation of the patient that should undergo CPET include clinical history, including current medications, physical examination, chest x-ray, pulmonary function testing and electrocardiogram. By signing an informed consent, the patient should be informed about the risks and the potential discomfort associated with the procedure. The absolute contraindications to CPET are myocardial infarction within three to five days, unstable angina, uncontrolled arrhythmias, severe aortic stenosis, acute myocarditis or pericarditis, recent pulmonary embolism. CPET should be carried out in a quiet environment. The suggested room temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. CPET should be conducted by an adequately trained personnel with basic knowledge of exercise physiology. CPET should be performed under the supervision of a physician trained in cardiopulmonary resuscitation. A security chart that includes a cardiac defibrillator must be in the room. The basic equipment utilized for CPT are the following. Ergometer, a cycle or treadmill, breath-by-breath -breath pulmonary gas exchange system, electrocardiographer, blood pressure sphygmomanometer, pulse oximeter. Two modes of exercise are commonly employed in CPET, treadmill and cycle ergometer. There are, however, several advantages to using cycle ergometer. It is generally cheaper, requires less space than a treadmill, and most importantly, the rate at which external work is performed is much more easily quantitated. A central focus of CPET is the measurement and interpretation of gas exchange. Several techniques are utilized to measure or compute VO2 and VCO2. In the breath-by-breath -breath technique, signals proportional to expired airflow and to fractional concentrations of O2 and CO2 measured near the mouth are sampled a hundred times per second. For optimal detection of exercise-induced cardiac ischemia and arrhythmias, a serial 12-lead electrocardiograph is utilized. Detection of exercise-induced hypertension, or less commonly hypotension, is an important goal in many circumstances. However, auscultation of blood pressure becomes more difficult during exercise. Non-invasive oximetry is useful and convenient for continuous monitoring of oxygen saturation. However, some authors have reported that it tends to overestimate true oxygen saturation, while in cardiovascular disease, the poor perfusion of extremity may yield falsely low readings. Additional equipment needed during the test are a mouthpiece or oronasal mask that route through the flow device all inspired and expired gases. Borg scale to quantify the patient's exercise-related perceptions of dyspnea 
and skeletal muscle effort, 